Well, welcome to the Church Office Podcast. My name's Gavin Smith, and if you're joining us on video, then here's a little wave. I'm excited to have Nigel Ring join us. I've never actually heard the word wicked and accountant <laughs> put in the same sentence. Well, welcome to the Church Office Podcast. My name is Gavin Smith, and we've taken the podcast on the road today to Ararat Baptist Church, where we're interviewing uh, Paul, who's a deacon here, and his lovely wife, Ali, who runs the Ark Centre. And the question tonight on the podcast, which we're looking forward to talking about, is how do you run a church cafe? Like, there's different stages in this. You may be running one. Uh, Your leadership team may be thinking about starting one. And so we've brought the experts in today <laughs> to, to find out exactly how you do this. And um, so before we get into it, tell us a little bit about yourselves and how long you've been involved in the church and what you guys do here. Okay. Um, we've actually been in Ararat probably about five, six years. Um, we've been in various other churches, um, both Christians for a long time. Um, I'm on the the diaconate. I was elected a couple of years back. Um, As you say, Ali runs the the coffee shop here. Um, Family-wise, we've got three daughters and we also foster. Uh, So we've got a little girl, well, she's 13 now, (laughs) that's been with us for about seven and a half years. So, um, yeah, keeps life busy. Yeah, you guys are busy. And a new granddaughter. And a new granddaughter. Oh, lovely. No, that's fantastic. Well, I've been around the facility and the place is incredible. And the cafe, there's such a good um, environment, such a good vibe about the place. Um, How much were you guys involved in the designing of it and thinking about how it all started? Give us a little bit of history. Um, We weren't involved a lot in that. I think a, a lot of that went on kind of just before or just as we were uh, arriving here uh, to to come to the church. Um, There had been one idea of building, I think it was a a coffee shop come kind of youth resource centre out in the grounds, but that would have been sort of detached from the church. Um, So I think it was was a good decision to kind of rethink that um, because, I mean, this was built, I think it was about late late 2017, 2018. and has just sort of evolved since that yeah, time yeah. but we often say the fact that it is all part of the same building we've yeah. got the, the church yeah. uh, in there we've got the sort of community center with rooms that we yeah. we hire out uh, around us uh, and then this is now the the main entrance into the yeah. the sort of day-to-day yeah. part of the church um it's just fantastic that it's all all, all it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant facility yeah. it, it really yeah. is incredible and um, I've seen the kitchen that you've got as well and Ali I guess you spend a lot of your time in the kitchen most you're coming up it. with the menus Make and ideas it. yeah most of it yeah that's where yeah. your, your passion yes is. feed people up <laughs> feed people up and, and the cafe's right in the as you said right in the kind of heart of the building yeah and you know tell us a little bit about um community life that happens in here because I know that's one of your passions, Ali. It is, definitely, yeah. Um, We are a community completely involved in in the area. People come into us, some of them, even every day. Um, They, but they're just extended family. You know, they phone us, if we're not yours, like, why have you had the day off? And yeah, (laughs) we're just all totally involved um, in their lives and being part of their lives, yeah. which is which is what's important, relationships with the community, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, you were telling me about a, uh, a lady, a 91 year old lady who coming out of COVID, who's yeah. been, you know, in a house for yeah. for all that period of time, comes to the cafe and, and shares, a, you know, just a, yeah, she, what does she share? Tell us. We, we had done an afternoon tea here and she stood up at the end and she said she wanted to thank us all. And she said that although she didn't come to church here, this place had been her sanctuary and her salvation through COVID yeah. because they could come. Yeah. They they felt it was safe. It was all spaced out. It was all clean. They were all cared about yeah. and they were all missed when they weren't here. Yeah. There's another group of people who come here twice a week. They Every Tuesday and Thursday, religiously, they come. They wouldn't dream of going anywhere else. They phone me if they're not coming. You know, they're just, they're it's just, a family. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 A family from people in the church and yes. outside the church yeah. as well, which is lovely. It's funny, a, n- a number of years before 
uh, this was thought of, this was built. Um, kind of, I think, as the church was trying to think of a, a sort of strap line to mm -hmm. sum up what Ararat is about. Yeah. Um, and we keep going back to the strap line that, that came up was that we wanted to take the heart of the church into the community yeah. and bring the heart of the community into the church. Yeah, nice. And Lovely. that was kind of yeah. set. And really, this has just embodied that and, yeah. and is showing that in reality. Yeah. You know, and yeah, people through COVID have come here and said, I've got to get out of the house yeah. when restrictions have eased and we've been able to open. This is the only place I come because I feel safe yeah, here. Yeah, we've had people come in here you know? and say this is the only place we come because this is the only place at the moment that we feel safe. safe yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's, well, it serves, doesn't it? Massively yeah. serves. Mm. Yeah. And, and mm. that. So, so you've picked up the leadership of, of kind of launched into this desire to to do the cafe, yeah. and and you've come in and, and picked up the responsibility for mm. for carrying it. Yeah. And so, tell me, how many staff have you got with you? Have you got volunteers that help as well? Oh yes, we've got a huge wonderful team of volunteers and okay. mm -hmm. um, there's just two of us who work 20 hours each yeah 20 hours a bit of a joke but 20 <laughs> hours each yeah so there's sam and i and then yeah. a huge team of volunteers yeah. who come in regularly but yeah. they all love it as well yeah. you know yeah it's part of their yes, life yes it's part of their life yeah, yeah. and what mm -hmm. they enjoy yeah. yeah so what kind of things have you done to to develop it from where it was to to where it is now because I, I mean you've got you've got outdoor seating yep. you've got capacity for what 60 plus yep. you know people yep. I mean, this is quite a big operation now. Yeah, it is. Um, it is this isn't just a, a small kind of couple of table cafe, is no. it? This is, this is and I think that's what a lot of people thought it, it yeah. was. Um, well, we've just progressed. It originally was sort of warm drinks and perhaps some cake. Yeah. Um, and then we've gone on to sort of snacks. And now we do very reasonably priced meals. Yeah. Um, which is lovely because a lot of, you know, a lot of people come here for meals regularly, some every day. Mm. Um, mm. so yeah. some are living at home on their own yeah. they're quite elderly okay. and probably wouldn't be wouldn't bother to to do a proper yes. cooked meal yeah. for them at home yeah. mm. and yet they can come here yeah. um, probably cost them less than yeah or not yeah. no more than than buying something and, and microwaving at home yeah, and they yeah. come here they've got a good meal but they've also got company yeah. and people yeah. to talk to and you know yeah, it's good so what's your specialty what's the best dish that goes oh, out on gonna. This? come on I'm gonna <laughs> pin down you what? this Corn beef pie. Corn beef pie. Okay, beef pie. that's good. Yeah. 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 It's a favourite. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you you you've expanded, I guess, from yeah. not just church folk coming in the day to community, and I, I guess people that are using the the building for different groups. Is it open when they're yeah. around as well? So, so they so, come in after the or before or after yeah. their classes. Yeah. And, and, and can well, stick around through the centre with hiring out the rooms for different things. We've got about a thousand people a week coming through here. Wow! Mm. Wow! And wow. Um, as it's grown, we, we we're kind of open Tuesday to Thursday, ten till two. Yeah. For you know the hot, hot meals, hot food, whatever. Um, and then some of the ladies that were here for an exercise group on a Monday were saying, oh, "Can you open on Monday so we can <laughs> stop and have a, a drink?" So yeah. we we're kind of doing ten till one, but that's drinks and yeah. cakes, snacks, yeah, you know, whatever. But then also becomes a food prep day. Okay, ready. Um, mm -hmm. Ready for the rest of the week. Yeah. Tuesday, we've also got the lunch club. So yeah. we've got 30, 35 yeah. people who are here for lunch club. Some were coming anyway. Yeah. Um, they do that. Um, we've, we've partnered with um, a group called Miss Tilly's. Okay. Who, it was set up by, uh, well, Laura Tilly is, um, she's got Down syndrome. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of run by young people who've got various mm -hmm. needs, additional Dish needs, needs, learning yeah. needs, whatever, yeah. um, come with, with mentors. It might yeah. be a family member or somebody like that. Yeah, okay. They so come they and they run on, it on a, yeah. on a Friday. Oh, I see. So, so it's a pop-up cafe, yeah. so they run it. So, yeah, so, but we have lots of interaction with them as well. Yeah. Um, and then, so that's on a Friday and then on a Saturday, we're here while the classes are on, so it's 10 till 1, and we just sort of do bacon yeah. and baguettes and sausage baguettes and oh, just yeah, things like that. I love that, that kind of stuff, yeah. 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 yeah, breakfast stuff, which is But great, also, yeah. you know, there's lots of other activities that go on, like we've done afternoon teas, and mm -hmm. we did Abba in the Ark. Okay. And a lot of things. We've done sort yeah. of breakfasts. We've, yeah. We're hoping to do sort of uh, 
the football with the, the Wales World Cup yeah. qualifier yeah. on Sunday yeah. with um, burger and chips and onion rings and a, yeah. Yeah. And a drink, you know, and, and just Great. put packages together and yeah, try and yeah. try and latch on to, to things yeah. that are happening. Yeah. Um, like we've got a, a big street party on yeah. uh, Thursday with the, oh, with the Jubilee. Jubilee. 200 Over 200 people, people yeah. booked in, and most of those are community people, okay. not church people, mm. you know. Excellent. But also trying to do things for kids and families. So okay. a few times... Um, our children's work uh, has sort of partnered with you and we and we've done like a two hour session mm. where they come in, come with their parents yeah. they do various activities craft and and, and things and, and then they come in here and they've yeah. done like a, a disney afternoon tea yeah um where the families sit together yeah fantastic. Um, so it's it's good family yeah. time um and what I'm picking up from, from, from all that you're saying is that it's kind of there's ministry that's Absolutely. happening yeah. in and amongst the fact that yeah. there's this almost like a business that's running, a cafe that's running, yeah. a service that's running to the community. But mm. to but be in honest, it, the relationships, with relationships, yeah. 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 relationships are the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's very, very much on the leadership team um, as well as kind of Ali and the, and, the, and the volunteers. With all that we've gone through over the past couple of years with COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm with the huge changes that that is bringing, including in the church. Yeah. Um, you know, we very often say this place here, certainly for the next 12 yeah. to 18 months, yeah. is really going to be our main interface with the community. Yeah. Yes. And you've got people yeah. that come in here, they come in here in the week, they might never go into the church, into a church service, but to them, Ararat yeah. is their church. Yeah, absolutely oh. right. Yeah. Mm. And they're yeah. open to conversations about faith. Yeah, it's so true. And, and, and food and sitting together and eating yeah. is just such a gospel thing to do, isn't it? It's just a wonderful thing. We just started did it on all the Sunday. Time, yeah, just eating together after the meeting on Sundays yeah. together. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, people have forgotten to be able to show hospitality yeah. and have people over the houses. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and they, they may have mixed feelings about the yeah. safety of that still. And, and, yeah. and maybe out, just out of practice. But, but the example that you guys set will will feed into the church run it to go yes. right let's you know let's bring our friends and have a coffee and meet yeah. here yeah, yeah they, um, and they do and um, i love that about four times a year we started we do um sunday lunch yeah and we do it for the one and onlys okay so people who were lot the singlies the singlies or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. um the one yeah. and only that sounds the one great and yeah. <laughs> um yeah people who were on their own and have yeah. been on their own through covid yeah you know they come and have yeah. lunch so they're sitting here all together because that. that's what's important yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't it you yeah, know it is. absolutely so, right. yeah so tell me about the kind of there must be some tension at some point between running a business that you you've got to cover your costs and you know i don't know whether you're making a profit and obviously this there's huge benefit in ministry that's happening and, mm. and you can see that um, how do you balance those two things? Are you really careful with the figures and you've got such a, a kind of brilliant costing system that you know it's not costing the church money or <laughs> is it costing the church money but you're okay with that because it's ministry? Where does that it's, kind of um, fall? Well, I, I mean, I would say Paul's finance. So I, <laughs> I would say um, I do the costings yeah. every now and again and I make sure that we're making sufficient to cover yeah. our costs and also obviously my wages for 20 yeah. Yeah. yeah um anything after that is not is not my worry yeah. i just make sure the costings yeah. are yeah. done and yeah. and whatever and but to keep it reasonable because we we don't want to outprice right. things we want people to come here yeah. and to be able to afford it yeah. and you know and it's balancing that isn't it that yeah. kind of wanting it yeah. to be able to be sustainable yeah, yeah. you know yeah. that you can you know it's a long-term project yeah. investment yeah. Isn't it? it is it's Yes, we are quite careful and keep a, keep a close yeah. eye on the finances. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's, it's very well supported by the church. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. for instance, you know, some of the... It, it, the way we've set it up, it's kind of within the one charity, with yeah. the church. Yeah. So, you know, some of the costs, are the utilities and mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. come from the church's main yes. bank account. Yeah. Now, hopefully in time the ark will grow enough to be able to make a contribution, contribution towards that those, yeah. so you've yeah. you've got the church supporting it and backing it in that way mm -hmm. um we brought on a, a second person in january to work alongside ali um because of the growth um and that is initially being financed by the church yeah yeah, yeah. but it's it's keeping it manageable so that you can grow without losing 
the feel yeah. and, the, and the quality, the quality yeah. and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, but doing it in a way, you know, financially, you know, whether it's what you're bringing from the ark or, mm -hmm. or whether mm -hmm. the, the church will back it, because at the end of the day, um, we're wanting to be able to communicate with people in our community. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're coming in here and they're seeing us yeah. and hopefully getting a good impression of yeah. people that come to church yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we're building relationships that many of those are beginning now yeah. to to bear fruit in that they will mm. ask us about our faith mm. they yeah. will ask us why do we do what we yeah. do um, we'll come in and when they're upset ask us to pray with them yeah. which they Excellent. wouldn't have done yeah, yeah, yeah. two years yeah. ago absolutely right you know yeah. so it's yeah it's it is a balance yeah and there is tension yeah um and there are there are some that would say you know well everything's going into the ark mm -hmm. but then yes okay there is a big focus on the ark but mm -hmm. that's where a lot of our ministry is yeah. coming from yeah. and coming through and you know this place is used you know we've we've had kind of musical evenings in here mm -hmm. um there's a lady in the church that runs sort of storytelling evenings. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll be on a particular topic, yeah. um, trying to bring a faith angle into that, mm -hmm. but it's open to anybody. Mm -hmm. um, well and they do that here. Yeah. Renew. On a, on a Tuesday, we have what we call a Renew Wellbeing Cafe. Okay, yeah, um, so yeah. people who are struggling with, yeah. I don't know, isolation, with depression. Yeah. Mental health. Just, yeah. yeah. yeah then it's, it, uh, the strap line on that is, you know, it's okay to not be okay. Mm. Yeah, and they great. can just come in here and you know a lot of them paint together or, or share their Decorate hobbies and, and all you know sort of crafts and, and for two hours they're here with a cup of coffee yeah, with others and that lifts them for the week yeah massively you know? yeah no it's great and so practical question and you're talking about mm. it's fine to set up a cafe within the kind of charity yep. itself are the charities commission okay with these kind of projects that that are yeah know, fund raising kind of things yes to to a point there are two types of um trading activities mm -hmm. within um charities um you've got your primary trading activity yeah so that is something that will directly further your objects in your constitution, yeah. which is fine. Um, you've got then secondary or ancillary mm -hmm. trading. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of something that is done Fits in the background yeah. to help to support those yeah. primary objects. So um, there are limits on how much or what portion of your overall income you can yeah. bring in in that way. Um, you also then would need to look at, um, you know, there's a tax angle. Mm -hmm. So yeah. again, I think as quarter of your income yeah. up to a certain limit, yeah. you're okay with yeah. as far as corporation tax goes. Yeah. You've got to look at whether you're vatable or not, yeah. um, or whether you can write your objects in a way that, if, that kind yeah, of yeah, enables yeah. what yeah. we're doing here to yeah. be part of the yeah. primary objects yeah. um, and then it's yeah. covered. Yeah, the community benefit is here, isn't yeah. it? Which is, you know, one yeah. of the key things, isn't it, of kind of measuring yeah. charities' success, I guess. And so, yeah. that, that's I mean, helpful. alternatively, there are some that would set it up as a separate charity. Some might even set it up as a limited company, mm -hmm. but it's kind of done in a way that the profits automatically go into the, yeah, the sort of charity yeah. uh, of the Gift church. So, the church. Yeah. there are various yeah. ways that, yeah. that it can be looked yeah. at. And, and it's a similar basis if you if you're you're letting or you're yeah. doing conferencing or you're hiring out yeah. you know lots lots of churches do do it and um, if, if you need some advice then there are you know numerous places you can go mm -hmm. to get that kind of advice so mm -hmm. if you're a church thinking about these things thinking we've got a heart and a desire to do this but are we able and how does that work with the trust then yeah. then you know i know you you run a business pool don't you yeah and um, others um, are there to advise and help charities you know and mm -hmm. churches look through those things so some of the practical things then what are some of the essential things that you need to make this work if, if somebody's thinking about starting one um what do you need most of all uh food hygiene yeah straight away go to the council go to the food hygiene to yeah. the standards and just get it yes. get it from them black and white what you need to do because Good. yeah mm. and it, and they'll work alongside you yes you yeah. know yeah so, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And that's and both practically for you know the, the kitchen space and whatever, but also yes. obviously um, training, yeah. food hygiene, yeah. qualification. And that's a good thing, isn't it? Because people can be scared of the food hygiene yeah. guys and yeah. from the council and yeah. think, 
you know, can we do this without? But it, yeah. it, it's, it is an essential, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Let's ensure that the premises is, is checked, is signed off. You can get yeah. a food rating certificate. It has to be displayed, doesn't it? Yeah. So all, yeah. all of that stuff is, yeah. you know, structural stuff that needs to be done straight yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. And getting the team trained up. Yeah. Are you on level two or level three of the food yeah, hygiene? Yeah, some two, some three. But we, we have people face to face here. So we've just done it now because, of course, with COVID, yeah. it was all delayed. So, yeah, we've all yeah. just been retrained. Yeah. and. And same as with the coffee machines, the girls have, have to go yes. down and get that training. Yeah, so, great. Yeah. I love that. And, and you can do some of this online now, which is amazing. We, yeah, we came yeah. across a, a company called High Speed Training, and, and mm. um, I think it was £30 that you could pay and do an online course for three hours, which yeah. got you the level two. So yeah. so there's some, you know, yeah. COVID has helped in some it's other things, isn't it, in easy terms of training and, and yeah. getting trainees, you know. Yeah training staff up and volunteers up to, to do that. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you need food hygiene. What else? What's next? I think you need a space. Yeah. No. God has blessed us with what we have here, but I know of places that literally clear their church area mm -hmm. twice a week mm -hmm. to run a cafe run from it. for yeah. two hours yeah. each day. Yeah. You but know, I do so think the church, first of all, has got to have the vision. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah that's yeah. good. The vision and the heart to go. Yeah. yeah. What are we about and, yeah. And, yeah. and how do we want to engage? Because the heart here yeah. is to engage with the community. Yeah. Yeah. The, that yeah. whole bringing the heart in and you yeah. know, all yeah. that stuff of the community yeah. you were saying earlier is, is outstanding. And so yeah. to get the support of the leadership on yeah. board makes your job easier, I guess. Yeah. It gives you the room totally. to say, totally. right, the confidence to go, oh, we can do this because yeah. I've got the backing. Totally. Um, so the vision, and then that's the support then with the finances and stuff like that. Yeah, and I guess sort of kind of tied in with vision is why are you doing it? Yeah. Um, to be able to give that vision to others yeah. um, and depending on where you are it could be you know what's your target group if you are starting small and doing something mm. two hours a week or something who are you yes. wanting to do that for yeah. you know a lot of the not totally but a lot of the people that come in here yeah. are more of the sort of elderly mm -hmm. kind of age group mm -hmm. who come in and own company but um, we do things for families yeah you know, we do things for, um, or we'll be doing things for like young people's group, you know, but it's who are you, you know, who yeah. in your community yeah. would be the ones that would benefit most yeah. Yeah. from doing something like yeah. this, I think. So it's, kind of it's just getting in clear in your head, yeah. why are you doing it? Who are you doing it yeah. for? Um, and then, yeah, how are you going to set it up? Yeah. How are you going to, how are you going to finance it? Is the church supporting it initially, yeah. you know, uh, you might be able to find grants that are available to, mm -hmm. to do something yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice. and how big are you going to be you know we started with just um, a small coffee machine that mm. you, you know you paid per cup to the yeah. people that you were hiring it from whatever mm -hmm. and we did that for a few years uh, now we've got one of the the bigger machines yeah um you as we've grown cappuccino flat white you can yeah. do all these yeah. things absolutely now. yeah, yeah. Whiz behind it but you know yeah. another thing i think is important that you take the church with you yes yeah. Yeah. You know, every step of the way. To be fair to the folk in Anra, they they do come they do get involved and they come and see mm -hmm. how much the ark is being used. Yeah, and great. and so from that point of view, they are then happy to get more involved yeah. and happy to help. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. really important yeah. that you take the church with you. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. It's funny that a lot of the older people who have used this mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah are those that in the early days would have been against yeah the church running developing the something yeah. like that yeah mm. yeah because they would have seen it as a business and yes. yeah to be separated yeah, yeah. and you know but, maybe struggling to see yeah. what are we talking about what's it going to be and whatever yeah. but they're yeah. actually physically when it's yeah. here yeah mm. and oh, experience this is what yeah. happens here. i can come and meet my friends for a coffee yeah. ali will come and yeah. have a chat you know there's, yeah. there's nice food i don't have to go home and cook my yeah. cook my dinner yeah and you know so sometimes yes you need the church with you but sometimes you've got to realize that actually different there will be different groups within the church who will come with you at different points yeah 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 some yeah, have actually got helpful. to physically see something before mm. they think i get it now yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a great idea yeah <laughs> I want to it. yeah that's great you know? no that's really helpful and then let me add something else which i think i picked right. up from you you've got to have the right personnel haven't you? you've got to have the right person yes. that can take this vision that yeah. can take the people that can deliver yeah. what goes on here in the daytime with ministry mm -hmm. and you know 
and a coffee shop in mind. Both of those are, are held in, in, in a mm. good tension. So mm. without you, Ali, maybe this place would, would fall apart. Well, I, I just feel this is where God wants me now. Yeah. And, he's, and he's undoubtedly blessing yes. the ark. And, and I'm just thankful to be part of yeah. that. Yeah, you know? it's lovely. And it, it, it's so important. So, so if you're thinking about this in your church, then... Um, you know finding the right person and not maybe rushing towards yes. that and and find that person who really captures the heart of what you're trying to do and yeah. um, that's going to make it easier isn't it as you go along mm -hmm. when there are decisions to be made and there are investment to be made then having that right person with the mm -hmm. right heart is going to be a diff make a difference well, you know i i told you earlier on that when i somebody said to me but i didn't want to do it yeah <laughs> but God had different plans, and yeah. you know, yeah. and He can move uh, on hearts. mountains. <laughs> yeah, <he can> move <laughs> mountains. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, good. But it, it's patience as well. Yes. I mean, the leadership here had the vision uh, to build this place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and at the beginning, you know, we've we've got a we had a lady that managed the centre, mm -hmm. um, did the administration and whatever. And it was when somebody came in. Mm -hmm. And they wanted a cup of coffee yeah. she'd make it for them yeah and that was literally yeah. and it was kind of okay god we've done what you wanted us to do mm. what's the next step yeah and slowly that kind of developed to a point yeah. where again the leadership recognized we need somebody to actually um grab hold of yeah. the yeah, arc yeah, yeah to actually yeah. sort the organization um make sure the stock is right make sure we've got the right volunteers mm. Uh, train the volunteers, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And then it's kind of developed from there. And it was, first of all, you began doing sort of sandwiches and, mm. and paninis and that. And until now you're doing um, cooked meals with puddings, yeah. sausage and bacon baguettes on a Saturday morning. You know, it's, it's just kind of developed. developed but yeah. don't expect to get to this point yeah, yeah, yeah. No. straight away. Day one, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's taken... Build it slowly. Years to do. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Where we're at now is probably taken four to five years from when yeah. it first yeah. started. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and now, and now we're reaping the yeah. benefits yeah. and seeing the difference yeah. it's making to the community. That's right. So, so that's a helpful point, isn't it, to have a kind of long term yeah. vision and plan. Yeah. And yeah, there's some points where you can go. Yeah, we're being successful. We're yeah. seeing fruit, but yeah. it does take it does take time, doesn't yeah. it? And, um, and don't be afraid to change tack. Yeah something they might you know recognize if something's not working mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they think okay what do we need to do yeah. instead yeah you know and so much of that is what you were saying earlier about who are we serving in the community yes. what's the age group and yeah. you know corned beef pie is is a popular dish and <laughs> it's going to be popular with older people you know people who and younger, mm -hmm. and younger ones as well well yeah, yeah. that's true some and people so you can tailor can't you to, some people to literally come they'll phone up yeah. Pre order to yeah. pre order to arrange to come and pick up a couple of bits of corned beef pie to take, to take home for their tea okay. for them and their Well, mouth. I'm going to have to come for the corned beef <laughs> pie then. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we yeah. need another meeting sometime. We, yeah, we're going to have to do that at some point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me fire another question at you. Okay. Um, you've been doing this for well four or five years now. What are some of the kind of pitfalls or some of the difficult things, some of the things that you've learned that you could pass on some some wisdom to <laughs> our listeners who are, who might be in the start of this or the middle of this uh, running a cafe for, uh, in a church? I think what you've got to learn is not to take things personally. Yeah. Um, you're never going to please all people all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we are only human. Yeah. Um, but if you are sure before God that that's what you should be doing, then yeah. you go for it. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. 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 There, there's going to be mistakes, isn't there? There's going to be yeah. things that go wrong. Yeah. We're human. But, yeah. but, you know, that's right, isn't it? It's a good perspective to have. And actually, yeah. we can't run this perfectly. And, and don't, don't self-analyze too much no. in some ways. And don't know? take it personally, because very yeah. often people don't mean it to you personally. It's the circumstance or yeah. what's happened at that moment, yeah. isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah absolutely right no that's useful i think it's it's finding the right person it's 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 the gifting that you've got in the church and mm -hmm. it's finding the right person for the role yeah um whether that be a vol on a voluntary basis or mm -hmm. you know paid a part-time or whatever um but it's also you know you you'll need a group of volunteers yeah but it's also not being afraid to recognize that perhaps a particular role that you've given to a volunteer isn't right for them yeah yeah, yeah yeah and 
you know, just having that conversation yeah. and suggesting maybe they'd be better doing that particular yes. job and that's yeah. you know that has to be done yeah. to make everything operate well yeah. you know so it's yeah. it's not being afraid to just no. change things and give people different yeah. jobs there's kind of honest feedback yeah, to people absolutely. because yeah when you get involved yeah. in the cafe you don't know no exactly what you and also you're be people's good at. natural um sort of the way people are they don't always click together yeah, yeah. not yeah. because there's yeah. anything but Sometimes you have to switch things around just to make things yeah. tick mm. better. Or who knowing who not to put on the rotor together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could be might be something as simple yeah. as that. That yeah. you know, yeah. some people perhaps just naturally yeah. rub each other up the wrong way. So yeah. actually, for a smooth day, you come in on Tuesday, you come in on Thursday. Yeah, you know. Or one example was we had two volunteers who were both very hard of hearing. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Taking orders and yeah. getting things right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like. We swap that we'll swap this around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And and that's leadership that's needed, yeah. isn't it, in running a place, you know? Yeah. Who who to bring in, yeah. yeah, how to best position them, how to encourage yeah. them. Yeah. I love I love that. That's great. What and and working with <laughs> working with volunteers is not always easy, is it? No. It's no. not always easy. <laughs> and specifically when you you know, it's not just helping with welcome or kids mm. ministry or something. This is actually you know someone's paying for something yes you want it to be as good and as oh. the best experience yeah. as you can yeah. for them don't you? yeah so you know um, we've said the main focus is relationships and community yeah. but at the end of the day yeah. uh, we are charging people for what yeah. we are yeah. providing them yeah. and you know we want to provide them with food of a high quality yes that um and they will enjoy mm -hmm. And they will want to come back again, yeah. uh, and, and bring friends and recommend yeah. us and uh, and whatever. I mean, I, I've got people that um, that I I work for some of my clients, yeah. and you know, very often they say, "Oh, let's go and meet up in the ark." Yeah, great. You know, great. Corn beef pie. Corn beef pie. Corn beef pie. <laughs> See, corn beef pie. The ark. Get the uh, get the address and turn up here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. 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 Online uh, orders not available. Only, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can pre-order though, so yeah, yeah, get on the yeah. phone. Um, you were saying earlier to me and off camera that you feel really supported in the yeah. role. T tell us a bit about that because that's important, isn't it, for the person who's leading to feel that that yeah. kind of support. Um, I think that it gives me confidence because I know that I've got the support of the minister. Yeah. And I've got the support of the diaconate, and I've got a wonderful line manager no he's very good so yeah yeah i know that they listen to what i've got to say and yeah. unless there's something really wrong they'll yeah. go with it and yeah. so that gives me it's, the confidence to yeah, go ahead yeah, yeah, yeah you know and that's what's important to yeah, me that makes a difference doesn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely yeah. but over time they've learned you you know you know what you're doing you've got that vision for kind of new events and, and things to do for people and and it's kind of you've grown that belief in them because of how well and how effective well. you are in that role yeah i think yeah. that's true i think you, you, you give of, people more room don't you yeah. when, when they when they're you yeah. know, when there's fruit and when yeah. you see that but it sort of multiplies because they've given me confidence yeah. so i've got the confidence to yeah. go ahead to and, go and, and it sort of multiplies yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we used to have before COVID. We had a separate lunch club mm -hmm. that was running uh, on a Tuesday. Yeah. But as we were getting back after restrictions and whatever, mm -hmm. it was actually recognised that it was probably easier to do together. So actually, you're yeah. now responsible for the lunch club that's done. You know, the cooking's <laughs> done together in the kitchen. Yeah. You might have different volunteers serving, yeah. mm -hmm. but kind of lunch club is part of the arc now. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't have happened if. They didn't have that confidence in you. Yeah, no. that's true. You know, so the right person. And yeah. and if you're listening to the podcast and you know you're not the person who's running the cafe or being chosen to run it, get behind somebody in yeah. your church who is. You know, encourage them in ways because um, you know Definitely. you're here long hours. You're working way over twenty hours. I can't believe you deliver this in twenty hours. <laughs> um, but you know, yeah, get behind it and support them and encourage them. And yeah, um, yeah definitely. And the other key way that people can and, and here do support you is in prayer yeah yeah. You know, yeah praying for you and the volunteers day in day out praying for those that come in yes. and, and the needs that they have yeah. um and you feel that don't you as you're, oh, yeah. as you're and, working and, here and there's lots know. of people one lady came to, to me today and she said thank you for all you do mm, you lovely. know 
Well, and she doesn't mean that, you know, you do more than your 20 hours. She doesn't mean that. Yeah. She means that I go a little bit further yeah. just yeah, yeah. to make sure that everything's yeah. okay, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 And that, that's kind of gospel motivation, isn't it? It isn't the paycheck. It, it, it isn't no. just... You know, you love being here. Oh yeah. But it's it's yeah. I wanted to make a difference for people Definitely. and sharing Jesus. And, and this is a, you've created a great environment to do that. And it's mm. uh, it's it's excellent. But what Tell a privilege! Me, it is a what privilege. What a privilege yeah, that God is. has given me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> tell me about some of the success stories then. You, you must have a few because yeah. you know. Tell us. Tell us. Um, I keep telling her. She comes home and brings me stories, and I say, "You should write these down. Yeah, yeah, you you should, yeah. Write a book yeah. about you know." Or just talk to camera and, you know, tell the camera all, the, all these stories. What stories yeah. should I tell? Well, I've told what you this. success, yeah. There's a, a lady who comes here every single day. She she comes here from the start to the finish. She And if she's not going to be here, she phones us up. She's brought me today a birthday present and a birthday oh. card. And Christmas time, she'll, be, you know, and, and, and she's just part yeah. of the extended yeah. family. She'll give me a hug and kiss before she goes... Lots of hugs and kisses that go on <laughs> round here, don't they? You know? Um, I told you about that 91-year-old yeah, yeah, thanking yeah. us for what we do. It's that safe place. Yeah, yeah. it's that yeah. safe place. Yeah. There's another lady who had her 90th birthday here, and she said this is the only place that she has been through COVID, and it's because they felt safe. Yeah. Mm. And it's funny because, you know, when she used to c come in, mm. she had to have a table by the door. Okay. So yeah. she was here, because yeah. that mm. was a safe place. Yeah. Because of COVID, he was still all very sort of nervous yeah, yeah. and whatever. Um, people come and say about the food. It's just... As we were coming out of COVID, I have never seen so many people that are happy to sit outdoors yeah. to eat yeah. when it's quite cold. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But they just wanted to get out and this yeah, is where yeah, they come. Yeah. And this is it. You know, yeah. we've, got, um, we've got a group that meets... They take a couple of tables there together on uh, when th once a week. The knitters okay. to get together yeah. and they knit and whatever. Over there, knitters. Actually. Over there. Over there. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, as we said at the start, you know, we've recently had our first grandchild. Yeah. And the number of cardigans, yeah. boots, Shawl. hats, whatever yeah. that that group have knitted <laughs> for you to you know, yeah. pass on to our and, daughters. And, and, and really, Abby doesn't come to church here, but Abby and Gareth were overwhelmed by the kindness of people yeah. in this church yeah yeah it's great you know yeah it just speaks volumes to yeah, them yeah definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. lovely well thank you so much for your time thanks for telling us a bit about cafes and stories i, I think Ken, it's great that's what you're i'm do. highly motivated to go home now and uh, make a corned beef pie yeah well make a corned beef pie but to set up a cafe in the church yeah. Like, yeah you know what you guys created here is yeah. it's inspiring to go Mm. How do we build an environment that, that we can do ministry, we can care for people, mm. we can engage with the community? Uh, I just I just love it. But you start small. You yeah. start what you can manage. Yeah. yeah. And, you, you know, yeah. as you always say, you've got to take a step before God shows you the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. we didn't start with all this. No. We started with the centre manager coming out and making a cup of coffee or someone came yeah, in and asked yeah. for it. yeah. Yeah. Um, and God's taken it to this yeah. and who knows where he's going to take it yeah. in the future Next. Um, but do what you can where you are yes. for your community yeah. and give it to God to do with what he wants yeah that's lovely that really is great so if you've got any questions or uh, I know Paul's written a couple of articles for the website and he's just a, a great advocate and a great person to get to know so if you've got a question about cafes <laughs> then i will put it to paul and ali i will By email it to him i'll pick up the phone yeah. um send it in you know we, we'd love there to be some some dialogue mm. if you're running a cafe then then get in contact we'd love to know about your story and what you're doing and, and mm. it's, it's great just to be able to learn from each other mm. and to serve uh, our churches and our communities in this way so um please check out um yeah any other uh, the questions or resources you've got on the website uh, listen back to other podcasts we've got i think we've got this is the 40th podcast now wow. so this happened and um we're really grateful for your listeners who are who are listening in and, and encouraging us so um thank you so much for your time paul and ali thank you Pleasure. for being here Pleasure. zach thank you for filming 400 foot films are grateful for them <laughs> following me around with a camera and uh, next time we'll we'll see you on the podcast thank you <laughs>